Hi guys! So today we are doing a little dog special and with me is Jasmine, a German licensed and certified dog trainer and she has something to say. Yes. So thank you for the introduction. <laughs> thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a little project that I'm very passionate about because I'm also a behavior consultant so I work with a lot of fearful shy dogs, uh, rescue dogs which obviously in Qatar we have uh, plenty of, right? And um, some of the dogs, they do need space. And that's something that the public sometimes don't really understand. Yeah, so some dogs are not really fond of being pet. Some dogs are not really fond of playing with other dogs. So there is a project that um, is a very international movement and I would love to bring that to Qatar. So that's why we have mm -hmm. this little talk today, which I'm very excited about. And I have a few things here that I'll explain to you very briefly what they are about. And if you see them in public, how you should behave around these dogs that wear these kind of things. And the very first thing that I would like to show you is a yellow leash wrap. So that goes on the leash. So the dog, you know, if, you, if somebody walks the dog, it's just there on the leash. And it is called the Yellow Dog Project. So as I said, it's an international educational movement around the world that is aimed to educate um, dog owners and also, of course, the public to, uh, yeah, to sort of respect the space of such dogs. So these dogs would wear anything yellow. It can be a leash wrap, it can be a bandana, it can be just a little ribbon around the collar. It can be anything yellow. Some dogs even wear a full shirt in yellow that with big letters, I need space. <laughs> so when you see something like this, you should ask, first of all, if you are allowed to approach that dog or not. Or, I mean, in general, you would just give that dog the space they need. And that's very important because I, myself, I have, you know, experienced that a lot of times that people just come up to my dog and have their hands on the dog already. Yeah. And as I said, some dogs are in training, some dogs are traumatized, they, they are in training at the moment, they're rehabilitating, so they need to um, sort of understand the human world from a different perspective than they learned before. Some dogs are maybe sick, some dogs have arthritis, some dogs take hormonal treatments like steroids or they have um, thyroid issues. They might not want to be touched because it's painful, so they might react when they're being touched. And other dogs, I mean, you know, it's dogs get neutered, spayed, they had a little injury. So you would not want to walk up maybe with your own dog to that dog because that dog needs to heal. Yeah, and um, that's one thing that I think will be very useful to sort of spread the word about in Qatar because it will make my paw keeper's life. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the paw keeper. <laughs> so um, it will make my uh, students' life much easier in working with their dogs. And it will also, of course, make the dog's life much easier and they can rehab much faster. And on a separate note, I just wanted to, besides the Yellow Dog Project, also show you this little vest here which says service dog. So we have sometimes dogs that assist people with disabilities. And that is something that is not so known here yet, but uh, there are a few service dogs, I can tell you. So also if you see a dog with a service dog vest, you shall ignore that dog because that dog is working. So that dog is actually alerting someone with diabetes to hypoglycemia. That dog might, you know, alert um, a person to a seizure. So if that dog is distracted by you trying to say hello, that dog might miss an alert and the person might, yeah, end up in a, it might end up in a disaster. So these two are very important things to know about uh, not only in Qatar but internationally speaking yeah so but I hope that especially the yellow dog project can be something that everybody knows about over here that's great thank you Jasmine especially yeah, I will use it because I have a dog who definitely needs some space yes. so yeah think about it use it respect it yep and um, not a, just one more thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. Um, a dog that reacts is not right away aggressive. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not like that. It's just that they need, just like people, some people are not social butterflies. 
Some people want to have more, they're more introverts and the same goes for dogs and we need to respect their feelings too. We do. Yep. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs>